Hey everyone, how are you all doing? Today we're taking a look at the Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series Moff Gideon from The Mandalorian, and this figure is pretty damn good. Sadly, I do not have, um, well I say sadly, I mean it was my own fault. Um, I didn't get Queel, and I had, um, Grief Karga, but I decided to cancel the order, um, because I had a bunch of, like, Mafex stuff and all that, and then on top of this, and everything coming out all at the same time, and I was like, ooh, that's too much, I can't spend all that right now. And I like how Carl Weathers, you know, I like how uh, Grief Cargo looks in Season 2 better, so I'm just gonna have to hold off and get that. Because I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to get one per character now. I'm trying to get one figure per character now. I'm trying to cut back. Just, I'm trying, alright? I'm trying. I'm not succeeding very well, but I'm trying. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at what Moff Gideon comes with, because what he comes with is minimum... It's, it's very little, but it's, like, the essential stuff. Starting off, I'm including this as an accessory because you can take it off. His uh, cape cloak thing. It's on a square peg, or a rectangular peg, which is kind of weird. But it has a nice, um, has nice texturing, nice detail to it. And then it's just uh, black on the outside and red on the inside, like the uh, Inquisitors and stuff. So that's pretty cool. And he also comes with this little pistol. Which, this is really neat. This has a lot of detail on it, surprisingly. Like, I'm I'm only really seeing it on camera. Like, I'm only just noticing it on camera. But he has, like, a little scope. And it's got the little, um, dent, like, vent things in it. It's pretty cool. I like it. There's really not much to say about it. It doesn't really have a whole lot of, um, uh, detailing on it. Like, in terms of, uh, like, a wash or anything. And then we got, the scope is a little off to the side, too. Like, Hans Blaster and that. So it's kind of cool. And then the best accessory of the year so far, the dark saber. We finally have the dark saber. It's really cool. And I like the uh I like the effect on it, you know, where it has the black in the middle and then the white on the outside. I was kind of hoping that we they would do something like this with all the lightsabers because let's be honest, the lightsabers they look really good like here. For instance, I'll bring in Luke real quick. Like just the standard lightsaber and everything. It's cool that it's translucent in that. But how cool would it be if they had, like, if it was green in the middle, like a green, like, oh, like, um, not translucent, oh, opaque? What the, what, what the hell am I looking for here? What word am I looking for? If there was, like, green in the middle, like, non-see-through, and then, like, this kind of clearish thing, but like a light, like this on the outside of it, so it actually looked like it was a true lightsaber. Because we can't see through the lightsabers, that's the whole, you know, point of them. <laughs> but... I like what they did with this. This is really cool. I do like the lightsabers we get normally, though. I kind of wish we got, like, a whooshing effect, because I think we need to get that with every lightsaber figure, not just the Count Dooku that it came with, and then no other figure ever again. But what's pretty cool about this is that, like all other lightsabers and stuff, you can easily, I say easily as I struggle a little bit, pull the uh, the blade out so you can have just the, the hilt of the darksaber, which is really neat. I like this. It has a lot of detailing on it as well. So, just get right up close here. See, there's no wash or anything on it, and no, like, belt loop or anything, but it's pretty nice. I like it. It would have been cool if we had, like, the Hot Toys effect on the blade, though, where it had, like, the light, like, lightning crackling effect. That would have been kind of cool. Um, how does this go on here? It's like this? Yes. Like that. Yeah, be careful whenever you're doing this. You don't want to put it on the wrong way and break it, possibly. Now, going over detail, I am going to leave his cape off. Actually, I'm going to show you what it looks like with it on first, and just see... There's a little square or rectangular peg back there, and it ports on as soon as you can find it. Oh my god, come on. It's not going to cooperate on camera, is it? Are you not going to cooperate on camera? There we go. But it plugs in very, very nice, and you can, it, it looks, it drapes over his shoulders very nicely. If you wanted to, you could um, super glue it just to, you know, put a little drop of glue in there, and you wouldn't have to worry about this ever coming off. Um, I don't know if anyone's going to try to make a, a wired cape, because I don't know how you'd even go about doing it, really, because there'd just kind of have to be, like, a hard spot in the middle, so I could still plug in. Although, I guess, it is, yeah, his vest piece is a, uh, kind of overlay to the torso itself, so you might actually be able to, um, like, kind of add a little bit of extra fabric to it, and then just tuck it underneath this, so then it drapes over the top. But I feel like that might just be too complicated because this is pretty nice. I like this. It's very solid for what it is. But going over the detail of him, this set sculpt looks very nice. I like this. It's a kind of, I don't know what's up with Hasbro lately, but their stuff's been kind of shiny. And it's only really under um, certain lighting because, like, 
it doesn't look shiny for me. Like I've had, a, I've seen a lot of people that are complaining about, oh man, the face printing tech, it used to be so good and now it's so sloppy because it's all glossy and stuff, which admittedly, yes, it has gotten like that a little bit, but it's not, it's not bad on mine. Like the last couple ones that I've gotten haven't been too bad, but I think this looks enough like Giancarlo Esposito. Also, I wish that he would, I hope he comes back in season three. I hope he does more because they really, that was my only gripe with season two of Mandalorian is that whenever they took him down, it was just kind of like, bam, done. You know, like he got his ass whooped. Okay, the end. It, it Like he seemed like he was going to be a lot more formidable other than the fact that he just had an army behind him, you know, but it is what it is. Hopefully we'll get to see him do more at some point, but he's got a, there's, is there a wash to the hair? Hold on. No, there's not really a wash to the hair. I was kind of hoping there'd be like a kind of grayish wash to it, but it's not bad. And then his armor. I don't know what happened here. And I did some research because I, I thought it was intentional. He's not supposed to have this huge ass dent right here. And if you look, I don't know if it's going to come across on camera. There's like a little gap in the like armpit too. I don't, I think someone at the factory like went like this and grabbed him and just dug their nail into it. But I honestly have no problem with it because one, it looks intentional. And two, it just looks like battle damage. It looks like he's battle, battle torn. And that's kind of cool. But I don't know if that's just so weird, because I looked at the package, I looked at images of him from Season 2 and Season 1, and I looked at him from everything, and I couldn't find a picture of him with this, so I don't know. And I even looked at other figures, and no one had this. So mine's mine's kind of special, which I, I like when my figures have blemishes like that, just like kind of things. Like the Wolverine, if you guys remember before I deleted that, <laughs> um, the Amazon exclusive Wolverine, I reviewed that, and he had a huge chunk, like a huge scar across his face. Because, like, this, where the plastic split, and I just was like, oh, that's kind of cool. It's like a weird battle damage that never healed for some reason, you know? It's like it has a cool story behind it for my own shelf purposes and that. But anyway, he's got nice detailing. The uh, colors on his armor and stuff is pretty solid. None of it's mispainted or anything. The paint on this is phenomenal. There's not much of it, but where it is applied, it's applied very well. He's got the nice imperial leg lines and arm lines. He's got kind of Vader-ish gloves up until the fingerless gloves part of it but pretty cool. It's got the belt with all the different um, L-shaped designs and stuff on it. You can see the texturing on the Imperial jumpsuit thing. It's got nice boots. These boots kind of remind me of um, like a combination of Anakin and then Luke's, but I don't know what Luke boots it reminds me of. It reminds me of some boots that Luke had. Maybe it was in a video game, maybe? I don't know. But he's got platforms. I just realized that. <laughs> And I'm going over the articulation of Moth Gideon. His head can go up that far, which is not bad. Can go up that far, can go down that far. So he's got like the standard um, double ball peg system that we're used to from Hasbro at this point. Well, we're used to from the Black Series line at this point. So that's that's nice. It's not bad. Get a little bit of rotation. I kind of wish there was a little more, but what, what more do you want him to do? So his arms can go up. Let's use this side. This side's for some reason more cooperative with me. Go up that far. I thought that was originally going to be um, like how the uh, troopers are, the stormtroopers are now, where they have the little um, like cup piece that goes in and then the arm plugs in so then it moves all together. But no, it's attached to the arm and it just it gets out of the way pretty well. This side doesn't. It's a lot tighter and I'm kind of worried about popping this off, so I'm not going to mess with it. He has single jointed elbows that go up way past 90, which is pretty good. Rotation, up and down movement for the dark saber slash gun holding hand, and then standard um, just standard back and forth for that he's got a pretty solid waist joint it can go that far forward that far back that far to the side that far to that side and then rotation of course legs can go out mm, better than spider-man question mark hold on damn moff gideon can go up against spider-man <laughs> can go that far forward mm, that far back thigh swivel single jointed knees which i i like the single jointed knees i know a lot of people don't and i get why people don't but I like these, they're sturdy, and they, you know, you're not going to have a lot of characters kicking their own asses, um, even though, you know, it's, it's, it brings Robo great joy when, whenever that happens. And then swivel, foot goes back that far, goes forward that far, and then ankle pivot, of course. You shouldn't have to worry about the gun falling out of the holster, it fits in pretty, pretty snug. I know it's kind of looking like it's coming out very easily, but you shake it, and it's, it's fine, there's no problem with it. And then, with the cape on, you know, you can also get him in a nice, some nice pose and everything. And he also very easily, I say easily as he's uncooperative, why does everything have to be uncooperative when I say it's cooperative? But you can get into a nice uh, two-handed Darksaber pose, so that's pretty cool. And now going over some size comparisons, here he is next to the 
new, um, newer Imperial Stormtrooper, and then the newer Remnant Stormtrooper, and these are actually different. I know a lot of people, um, didn't, like, pay attention to it, but this is, <laughs> this figure's taller. He has, like, his neck joint is either longer or something, and then just the, like, all his joints are just have a little bit more gap in them to make him taller, which is pretty cool. I like that. It, it adds different heights and all that stuff to your shelf. So then you don't have, like, all the same thing. You actually have slight variations in troopers, which is pretty cool. It adds some realism to it, and I like that. And I think he stacks up pretty well, because if uh, John, John Carlo Esposito, I think, is... I think he's 5'8", and a lot of the people in Star Wars are, like, 6 foot something. So... Because I'm... Yeah, people were like, oh, John Carlo Esposito's... He's short, and I'm like... He's not... I'm like, is he short? Um, and I looked it up, and he's... I mean... He's two inches taller than me, I think. I think he's 5'8". I think he's... Well, I'm almost 5'7". But I think he's 5'8", if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I might be mistaken. Here he is next to the, uh, well, two quote-unquote kit, kit bashes. Uh, my Luke from Return of the Jedi with an, the uh, Yevon 4 head, because I didn't like the head that came on the figure, and then Janna Solo's um, belt, because that was like the only one that I could put on him. So, and then Mando from the Target Exclusive 2-pack that did not come with... No, you're not the fixed one. This is the uh, normal $10 uh, Grogu. And I gave Mando, and I I'm, I'm made my own custom cape for him. So, so I could actually keep the cape on instead of having to switch back and forth. But this, is, this actually stacks up pretty well. I like this, and I think this works. So if you want to recreate the uh, Season 2 finale, you can do that. I cannot wait until we get Bo-Katan! And also, real quick, before we do more some size, before we do more size comparisons, here is Din with the dark saber, and this looks really cool. This is this is pretty. If you want to have him have it on your shelf, which I personally don't, I, I'm gonna have him have his. Uh, he's gonna have the Gambit staff, which I've been using as the best car staff. That's how he's on my shelf, and then Moss Gideon still has this. And also, I will give this to Bo-Katan whenever we get Bo-Katan. Probably, yeah, I'll probably give it to her. And also. Here is the Darksaber with Sabine. So if you want to get your Rebels on, you could definitely do this. It doesn't fit into her hands that well if you have the guns in her hand, because the hilt on the Darksaber is smaller than the hilts of her guns. So just, you know, be careful with that. That's why I have it in a two-handed pose right now. Because whenever I tried to do it in just the one-handed, like I just had with Din, it kind of fell out of her hand. Here he is next to the Mezco Supreme Knight Batman, and then my custom uh, Bane, custom Mezco-style Bane. And this doesn't work. I don't know why you'd even want to cross this over, but you know, you could if you wanted to. And then here he is. I don't have any uh, SH Figure Arts Star Wars figures. So here he is next to SH Figure Arts Captain Marvel. So if you have um, SH Figure Arts Captain Marvel, or if you have an SH Figure Arts figure, I'm not exactly sure how he'll stack up. I don't have the Mando, but I assume he will stack up very, fairly nice because of the fact that John Carlos Esposito and this Moff Gideon figure is a little shorter than everybody else, so I think it should stack up very well. And then here he is next to the character that he should play in the MCU, Doctor Doom or Magneto. Honestly, either one. He could, he, I mean, you put him in any role and he'll knock it out of the park. From the little we saw of him in uh, The Boys, he was already, you know, kick-ass and terrifying as he always is. Let me know down in the comments, would you like to see uh, Moff Gideon as Doctor Doom or Magneto or somebody else, you know, if you have a different preference? Um, but I think he should play one of the two of them because he would absolutely kill it as either of them overall i really enjoy this figure it's it's a pretty solid figure he has pretty decent articulation i was a little worried about the cape constantly falling off but it stays on just fine so you can get him into some really cool action poses against din and all that stuff and him leading the the dark troopers you can also get his hands behind his back i didn't show you guys that but you can like have him have his hands behind his back in a very regal pose with the cape still on and doesn't hinder it at all so that's pretty cool and yeah so let me know what you all thought about this down in the comments below, and I will uh, see you all in the next one. Yeah.